This is our Gen 3 AR15 Comp Mag. The Gen 3 Comp Mag has a new locking mechanism which automatically locks when you put it into your firearm. Installation of the Comp Mag is very simple. Just put it in like you would a regular magazine. Once installed, if you press the release, it won't come back out. Non-detachable magazine conversions. How compliant are they? Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms, LLC. PAN Firearms for NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like channel, like content, and what I do here, you can support me the link. Everything is appreciated. And to my Connecticut residents, plan on getting your Connecticut pistol permit, Please get your training done before July 1st. I say even go further and say put your paperwork in before July 1st. After that, it gets a little bit more longer. It's going to get a little bit more difficult. And it's probably going to cost you a little bit more money. If you have your permit, watch the expiration date. Don't let it expire. There's a link to the online renewal portal in the description box. Keep an eye on that. Now let's talk about this. Now, this is obviously, this is relevant to us here in Connecticut because of HB 6667, which is forcing another re-registration of assault weapons period for items that were considered legal after the passage of SB 1160. Of course, I'm talking about others. Now they're forcing us to re-register them. So under this law, what basically what is a workaround is permanently attaching the magazine where the magazine is not detachable. I came across two very interesting products for that. Now, let me just go ahead and back up a little bit. I am not giving you a legal advice. I'm not telling you what to do or what not to do. I'm discussing two products here that I found that will basically circumvent the registration for HB 6667 because it will make the magazines non-detachable. That's what I'm talking about here today. Because I know a lot of people, uh, you know, we still have, a, they're actually coming up very quickly on the registration period. I believe it's April 30th. We got to get these items re-registered again with the state. So adding a product such as a magazine conversion that doesn't allow for a detachable magazine would circumvent that registration. As I said, I'm talking about these two products because I found them to be very interesting. They both come from a company called Comp Mag. Now, Comp Mag here has made a magazine that not only makes itself non-detachable from the firearm, but also facilitates in reloading. Now, they have a video. I'm going to go ahead and play that and let you get an idea of what they're doing here. This is our Gen 3 AR-15 Comp Mag. The Gen 3 Comp Mag has a new locking mechanism, which automatically locks when you put it into your firearm. Installation of the Comp Mag is very simple. Just put it in like you would a regular magazine. Once installed, if you press the release, it won't come back out. Loading the comp mag is very simple. To reload, pull down the charging handle, lock it forward, hold the firearm upright, pull down the loading door, and simply load through the side. You're gonna wanna put two rounds in, and then push another round in between those two, and repeat this process until you have 10 rounds in the firearm. Once you get 10 rounds in the firearm, close the door, release the spring and follower, and you're ready to fire. As you fire, it has numbers down the side, which indicates the amount of rounds you have left in your firearm. And removal of the Gen 3 Comp Mag is very simple. Simply pull off the top cover. There'll be a hole for the release tool. Push the magazine release in, push in the release tool, and the mag will come right out of your firearm. Heard that you saw that now. That right there I don't feel would be compliant with Connecticut. This is my p opinion for somebody who jumps in with and tells you, you should read this law, that law. No, listen to what I'm saying. Because of how easily you can unattach the magazine from the magazine well. It's a, you know, a dial, looks like a dial pin, push it into a certain specific slot on the magazine, push down and it comes out. I don't think that would fly in Connecticut, but they do have what they call a New York compliant addition to this magazine. And they have a video, I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Uh, for New York residents, 
you need to take the installation a step further. Once you put the pump mag in your firearm, there is a top cover. What you will do is pull off that top cover, exposing a recess and exposing the release hole. You need to seal that up by putting a little bit of epoxy in that recess and reinstalling the top cover. Once you get that on, your magazine is permanently affixed into your firearm. Should you want to remove it, there is a little divot on the release cover showing you where the release hole is. So you would drill a hole right where that divot is and you'll be able to get the release tool back in, releasing the magazine. Now, that definitely makes it more permanent as you're gluing over the hole so you can't just easily accessibly just push this pin in and detach the magazine. So it does take a little bit more work. Once again, I don't know if it's compliant with Connecticut and they're not stating that either but they do say it's for New York. Connecticut has not really given any true guidelines on what they consider permanently affixing a magazine. That's the problem. That's the problem with Connecticut in general. They make a law and be very aloof in the language and you have to kind of guess your way through what's legal and what's not. You know, that's typical. But they do make, the same company, CompMag, makes another product. And it's called the All-Star Tactical Safe Mod Mag Button. Now they say for New York. So what this does is it replaces your original magazine button and the button has two set screws. Once you put the new button on, you put the set screws in it and bottoms out so that the button does not press. So the magazine, once you put the magazine in it, it locks out. You epoxy over the two holes and it's definitely a more permanent fix. Once again, it says for New York, but I want to come down to here and this is in their description box. I'm going to leave links to both of these items. They say this, in the description. Additionally, it is our reasonable belief that it complies with Connecticut, Maryland, New Jersey, and other states detachable magazine laws. It's their reasonable belief. So you have to take that at face value. But I looking at this product and looking at the way it works, I feel this is a safer bet than the magazine itself, the comp magazine. But let me bring you back to the financial aspect of this. Each comp mag comes out at about $65. Each one of these tactical mag buttons are $23 each. Now, the whole point of doing this, in my opinion, is to circumvent having to re-register as an assault weapons with the state of Connecticut. And if the Supreme Court, in our, you know, we can only hope, finally gets an assault weapons ban case and says, no, this is unconstitutional and overturns it, you can then revert your item back to its original configuration. So you have to be very careful in how you go about that. I say that the all-star tactical safe mag, uh, safe mod mag button is definitely a more permanent fix than the magazine. The magazine, to me, once again, giving you my opinion, okay, before somebody jumps up and down, I feel that this magazine might not pass muster with the state of Connecticut, whereas the company is a little bit more comfortable saying that this, the safe mod mag button would be compatible with Connecticut. But once again, this is just another idea because as I said, once the magazine is set permanently and can't be removed under reasonable conditions, you do not have to register your item with the state. So that's another workaround. For those of you who are registering your items with the state, you have until the end of the month, April 30th, I believe is the last day. But there's, once again, I'm just discussing these two items here, these two products, but let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence, the statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.